Now, let's talk, um, talk about finding equations of lines. Yeah, provided certain information, um, slopes, points, uh, those sorts of things, we should be able to find the equation of any line we want. And that's what we're going to work on here. Uh, <clears throat> we'll kind of start with the easy one, or the way I start with it anyway is the easy one, and then work, work our way up. Okay? All right, so number one. Number one is going to be find the equation of the line <clears throat> with slope negative nine sevenths and y intercept eleven fifths. Okay, well, <clears throat> what I like to do, there's different ways of doing it. What I like to do is always kind of focus on one particular uh, form of a line. I like to always think, if it's wanting me to find the equation line, I originally start off thinking, unless it's a special case, and we'll talk about those uh, next time, I like to start thinking about, uh, if it's finding the equation line, think y equals mx plus b. It's one way we can do it. If I can get my uh, <coughs> y equals mx plus b, then I can go to other uh, forms if I need it. But let's just think, find an equation of a line, let's think y equals mx plus b. That's what I want. Now, for y equals mx plus b, what I need to know is two bits of information, or be able to find two bits of information, that is the m and the b. The x and the y are my variables, so they are going to stay right in there, but um, <clears throat> if I know my M or find my M and my B, then I'll f I've got one form of the equation of the line anyway, a good one. Now, in this case, this is really very easy because I have both information, both pieces of information, don't I? What's my M? Negative 9 set. M being the slope, I've got my M. B being the y-intercept. I've also got it, don't I? So I've got the two pieces that I want. Just make those uh, two substitutions there. And that's it, okay? Like I said, we'll just start, start easy and work our way up, okay? Yeah, if you've got the, if you're wanting y equals mx plus b form, slope intercept form, if you've got the slope and you've got the y intercept, You've got the equation already. Uh, just plug it in there. Okay? Now, they won't all, of course, come that way, but work our way up. Number two, find the equation of the line with slope negative four that goes through. 3, negative 7. Okay. Well, in this particular case, if I'm thinking y equals mx plus b, I'm in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Not quite as good as before, but what do I know here on y equals mx plus b? I know m, don't I? Here's my m. It's my slope. So that goes in uh, in for m there. Well, that uh, leaves b, and in this case, is b negative seven? Uh, no, because b is supposed to be the y-intercept, and 3, negative 7, if you plotted that out, that would be, well, that would be 3 and negative, that would be in quadrant 4, okay. It's not on the y-axis. So negative 7, no, is not, not the b here.
However, this is an X comma Y. And so let's look at what would happen if I substituted those in for my X and my Y. Negative 7 is the Y. X is 3. So let's make that <coughs> little substitution there. Do a little bit of work here. That gets me the equation negative 7 equals negative 12 plus b. Now why is that helpful? Well, that is going to allow me then to find b, isn't it? Just add 12 to both sides, and that's telling me 5 equals b. So now I know what b is, because if b is 5, b is 5, all right? It didn't tell me in the problem, but I can find it this way, b is 5. So the equation that I want is y equals negative 4x plus 5. How's that? Is that okay? All right. <clears throat> Question or concern? Well, let's work our way up here. Let's, uh, let's get one with a fraction here. Find the equation of the line. With slope 2 thirds that goes through negative 5, 6. Okay, same thing, <coughs> equation of a line, uh, I'm going to think y equals mx plus b. Well, again, I've got one of the things I need. I've got the slope is two-thirds, so that's my m right there. m is two-thirds. But that still leaves the matter there of figuring out what B is. Well, the way I can figure out what B is, again, use this for X and Y, right? That's a ordered pair. That's the X, that's the Y um, <coughs> of that ordered pair. So I can substitute that in for X and Y down here. So do X is negative 5 and Y is 6. So Y is 6, X is negative 5. But it is, it is fractions. We've got some fractions here so to contend with. All right. <clears throat> so let's do this. All right, what is 2 thirds times negative 5? Well, that's being negative 5 over 1, multiplying numerators together and denominators together to multiply fractions. So that would be 2 times negative 5 is negative 10. 3 times 1 is 3. All right, so uh, one way we can look at it is that uh, to solve for B, just add the 10 thirds, both sides. And so this is telling me 6 plus 10 thirds equals B. Remember ways you could do that. Um, if I change it, uh, <coughs> change that to... Uh, a mixed uh, number be three and a third. So six plus three and a third, that'd be nine and a third, wouldn't it? That's one way you can do it. And then uh, they usually like it as, you can leave it that way, but they usually like it as an improper fraction. That would be uh, three times nine is 27 plus one, give you 28 thirds. So either use nine and a third or 28 thirds for B. But I'm wanting the equation, so that's not saying I'm done there, just uh, yeah, make that substitution there. So my equation here is what? Y equals mx plus b. Well, I got m is 2 thirds, so it's y equals 2 thirds x plus 28 thirds, or 
nine and a third. There you go. Okay. Now, <coughs> that's the uh, slope intercept form, which that'll be one form they'll want. What if they want, um, what if they want standard form? Well, that's what we just talked about, right? Standard form of that would be uh, get rid of the fractions and move the x and the y term on the same side. So just take that equation, multiply it by the uh, LCD, which is 3. So this is just 3y. That's canceled, so that's just 2x. And that cancels, that's just 28. X and Y terms, same side, so you'd move the X term over, subtract it. Negative 2X plus 3Y equals 28. They like it where the uh, X term is positive, so last but not least, divide by negative 1. So 2X minus 3Y, negative 28. So this is Y-intercept form. <coughs> Slope intercept form this is a standard form. Okay? Depending on what they ask. But e either way, I'm going to start with y equals mx plus b and then adjust it from there. Okay? All right. Well, let's. Make one other little step here. What are we on? Number four? Number four. Find the equation of the line. Same thing. And we're going to have uh, two points. Find the equation of the line with the points. 8, 7, and 10, negative 9. <clears throat> All right, so again, once again, we are looking for y equals mx plus b. That's the way I'm going to think. Equation of the line, y equals mx plus b. All right, well, <clears throat> if I'm wanting y equals mx plus b, What's M or what's B? Either one given here? No. I neither have M nor do I have B. Don't have the slope given, and neither one of those is the y-intercept, are they? So neither one of those is B. So yeah, here, in this case, if I've got two points, you're going to have to start with a different formula. What do we have to start with? Start with the slope formula, yeah. If I've got two points, <coughs> if given two points, Start with your slope formula. Instead of y equals mx plus b, let's start with the slope formula. Meaning the m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And that'll give me my m. Right? Yeah, because if you have two points, then you can figure out the slope from those two points. Just take the second y, negative 9, minus the first y, which is 7. Divide that by second x, which is 10, minus first x, which is 8. What does that give me? Negative 16 over 2, which does reduce is negative 8. Okay? with me on that so far. But that's just, uh, <laughs> we're just halfway home because now, yeah, I need to know M and B, now I've got M. So now I know, back to Y equals MX plus B, I now know the M is negative eight. I can plug that in. 
still need an OB though. And using this method, how would I do that? Well, again, you got an X and a Y, you can figure out the B, can't you? <clears throat> Matter of fact, here we've got two X and Ys. Which one should I use? Well, maybe the one that looks easiest, maybe the smaller numbers. It doesn't matter. You can use either one. You have your choice here. This one looks a little easier because it's both positives, but we could just as well have used that one. So yeah, plug these in now for X and Y over here. X is 8, Y is 7. So that's going to give me 7 equals negative 64 plus B. Just add the 64, huh? 71 is B. So now I've got M, and uh, that gives me B. So I can plug that in. My equation is going to be Y equals negative 8X plus 71, isn't it? M is negative 8. B is 71, so it's Y equals negative 8X plus 71. How about that? So it's just an extra step. You've got to start with, start with your slope, slope formula there. Okay? All right, let me do one more of those. But it doesn't matter what one. doesn't matter which one. Yeah, we get the same, very same B, believe it or not. You can try it, but we get the same B. If we did 10, negative 9 instead of 8, 7, if I did the uh, negative 9 here and the 10 there, uh, you'd still get 71. Right. Number five. <clears throat> What about the, uh, the equation? Find the equation of the line. Through negative 3, 4. And positive 3, 9. All right, so we still are looking for an equation of a line. However, if we look at y equals mx plus b, I don't know m and I don't know b, so I am going to, here, I have two points, so we start with the slope formula, y2 minus y1, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 to get the slope, the m. Right? What is that going to be? Take the second y, which is 9, minus the first y, which is 4. Divide that by second x, which is 3, minus the first x, which is negative 3. And yeah, that'll give me 5, but on the bottom, double negative, yeah, it'll be a 6. So again, we've got a little fraction for our slope. <clears throat> that does give us something to go on. Now we go. Think about y equals mx plus b. Plug in the m to be 5, 6 now. We got half of it. Still need b though. And yeah, again, <clears throat> choose whichever one you want, doesn't matter. This one looks a little easier because it doesn't have a negative, but it may not be any easier. But yeah, let's just use this. Plug that in for x and y. See, that would be uh, 3 over 1. Uh, it's 15 over 6. That does reduce, though, by uh, 3, 5 halves, actually. We'll subtract the 5 halves. So 9 minus 5 halves, if I can figure out what that is, I have <coughs> we'll have B. Um, it's 9 minus, that'd be 2 and a half. One way you can do it. What's 9 minus 2 and a half? 6 and a half? 6 and a half. Which is <clears throat> 13 over 2. Change it back to the improper. 
So I found M, now I found B, so I found my equation. Y equals 5 6 X plus 13 half. Two steps, you got it, okay. All right. <clears throat> um, now, again, what form is that we found? Slope intercept, okay. Y equals MX plus B, so that's slope intercept. So if it asks for slope intercept, there you go. And again, if it asks for standard, what do you do there? Change, change the x and y's to the same side, get rid of the fractions. That's what you do. All right, so in this case, I'd uh, got 6 and 2, so I'd multiply by 6. 6 by everything. <clears throat> so I get 6y, 6 is canceled, so that'd be 5x. 6 over 1, so the 2 would go into... 3 there, that'd be 3 times 13 would be 39. The x and y on the same side, so subtract 5x and we get this. I don't like the negative x term, so divide everything by negative 1 to change that out. So I'd get uh, 5x minus 6y equals negative 39, standard form. Okay. That's one way of going about it. Questions or concerns?